Uh, honestly, I uh, I was looking for a job this this off season, so I just training as regular. Uh, and my agent was talking to me, and he said, "How do you feel about going to play in Winnipeg?" And you know, I, I've heard great things about the city. I've heard great things about the team, and everything I've heard is it was good. So I, I looked them up, and everything I, I, I liked. So it kind of just worked out like that. Uh, it was good. It was, uh, you know, fairly close to home. I got uh, some people could come out and watch and stuff. Uh, you know, kind of a bittersweet feeling getting released with by the Cubs, but at the same time, it was it was good to play in a in a nice Canadian city. Oh, Pat! Pat was a great coach. He was, you know, he seemed to me like he wasn't too far out of playing. I feel like he could still play the game. Like he knew so much about it and. You know, he was in great shape, even when he would throw us BP and stuff. Uh, no, I've uh, I've heard great things about him, too, and I, I love the way he coached, and I could just tell that he was a great player when he played. Yeah, that was probably the one of the highlights of my career, even just getting signed to, to play for t uh, my country was unbelievable. Uh, the experiences I had uh, overseas and with that team and the guys I've met and just create relationships forever. It was, it was great. How did you even hear about that? I don't even, it is, I know. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, I was born left-handed and uh, at a really young age, I, I broke my left arm consecutively so I was kind of obligated to do stuff with my right so it was a long long time ago so I don't really remember doing stuff with my left but I know I was left-handed and it was I feel like it was natural getting used to it but it kind of worked out for the better I uh, no, I don't even know if I was throwing at the time it was more like writing and stuff I was just kind of like at that age where I didn't know what was going on so I was kind of doing whatever felt natural and I got used to doing stuff with my right, so I, I kind of just stuck with it. Yeah, big hockey fan. Uh, I don't know if people in Winnipeg are going to like it, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Leaf fan, even though this year's a bit rough, but yeah, I'm a big Leaf fan. Uh, that was that was really good. Actually, we, we became really close friends. I actually lived with him my first full year in pro ball. He uh, he had a, a place in Phoenix, and he was by himself, and we became good friends, and he asked me to live with him, and it kind of worked out. We just grew, like created this friendship that uh, I think we'll have forever. Not not too much. I don't know. I feel like uh, I'm a pretty straightforward guy. I, you know, I I play hard. I I love uh, I love all sports. I'm, I'm a big people person. I'm approachable. Nothing nothing too crazy. Uh, just just to play. I, I feel like it's been so long since I've played. I'm I'm used to going to spring training now, and I'm just excited. I've I've seen and heard such good things about Winnipeg and the the organization and the even the stadium and stuff. I know they get a lot of fans, and I for I know some people that are playing this year. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, and I'm just excited to get down there and and start.